horrible, people. horrible, atrocious attacks in New York and Washington, D.C. and Pennsylvania. And I never want to see that kind of attack happen again. But if I only focus on what happened 10 years ago and not what's been happening for the last 10 years or what was happening for the first 10 years before 9-11 or 20 years before 9-11, We'll never be able to prevent that kind of attack from happening again. There are more lives than just American lives at stake. And the violence that has erupted in this world, the death, the destruction, in the pursuit of peace is disgusting to me. And that's why I'm here. Um, I want to see a peaceful world. Without peace, people are not free to explore their creativity, who they are. The human spirit cannot flourish in this state of war. So if we want peace, it has to just start today. Peace is not, there is no way to peace, as the quote says, peace is the way. And so the wars must end now. We will never see a peaceful world by dropping bombs on other countries. You will not get peace through the end of a bullet. You can only get peace through understanding, by trying to reach across cultural borders, national borders and try to understand individual humans we're all humans and 9-11 is not an american tragedy it's a human tragedy so peace 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 peace, peace. 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 Huh? one of my favorite philosophers social scientists ludwig von mises his quote is only one thing can conquer war that attitude of mind which can see nothing in war but destruction and annihilation. War is not a means to the goal of peace. War is destruction of lives, of property, of communities, of dreams and hopes and aspirations. You cannot get anything productive out of a system that is completely rooted in violence and death. So that's why I'm here for peace, for American peace, for world peace. And the war. Woo! And thank you all for coming out. This is fantastic because this is a day that too many people who advocate war sees as their day, their reason for why we, or I shouldn't say we, the American government has to be out there killing people overseas because they attacked us, they say. They say, oh, we did nothing to provoke this. It does nothing that justifies what happened on 9-11. I, along with everybody here, we mourn for the dead. But to say that there was no provocation is nothing but a lie. The United States has been empire building for at least 100 years. Even more if you go back to the Spanish-American War. We have been going overseas and attacking people and killing people. And yet, so many people don't see this. Oh, we were just defending ourselves. Somehow, I don't think we were defending ourselves against Spain back in the Spanish-American War. Their empire was a house of cards, to say the least. It goes on and on, the lies that start the wars. It goes on and on. So many wars started by so many lies. We have to put an end to this. We, the people who advocate peace, have to seize the initiative. That's why, regardless of what the advocates of war say we need to take this day and we need to advocate our cause which is the cause of peace this is not a day for anybody to say oh well we, we, we might be accused of disrespecting anybody and stay home instead of coming out and doing this so I want to thank all of you for coming out it's not easy especially on a day like this We're doing the right thing if we, you know, well, I wanted to make a comment about something I see here we have people from yeah. many different uh, ideologies and I think that is a fantastic thing. We need to come together instead of uh, seeing our differences. For myself, I'm a libertarian. I didn't agree with everything that he uh, said, but I'm willing to stand with him for peace. That's what it's all about. So now, here comes the commercial. Uh, I founded a group called Focus on Peace specifically to be politically neutral, to bring everybody together. So we don't advocate peace and this issue, that issue, and the other issue. It's peace, and that's it. 
the idea here, not only to bring the left and the right and the libertarians together, but to for form a peace movement that even Joe Sixpack out there, who's not so quite so radical, and maybe not even quite so interested, unfortunately, can get behind. So thank you. Uh, I lost my cousin on 9-11. He was a first responder, uh, Port Authority Police Department. Um, lost his life going into those towers and helping bring people out. I, I think that where we've come since 9-11 is an affront to his dignity, an offense to his dignity, because we've lost the sight of aiming for peace. We, we've lost that goal. We're not, we're not in Iraq for anything that had to do with 9-11. We can, we can say that, you know, we can say that, oh, you know, they were aiding terrorists, they were vetting them, harboring them. That we know that that's not really the truth. And these wars that we're in right now, these losing, failing wars, are an affront to the dignity of everybody who lost their lives those day, that day. Congratulations, I guess, because um, you're aware, and peace starts, I think, with our individual actions, and. It's just beautiful, I think. And, and you know, there's not that many of us here right now, but this is beautiful. And I love it. And Jen and James, you, everyone, thank you for setting this up. And um, just like keep loving and keep spreading your love and keep, you know, showing people that this is what we need to be doing. And this is a movement. And I don't really know a lot of you, but I love you guys. <laughs> just a great job. Just awesome. And yeah, guys. That's all I have to say.